Hi guys, it's me, Linny. This is Candy Girl for Creations, a place for me to come and share all my random bits and bobs and creativeness. Is creativeness a word? It is right now. So, what day is it? It is August the 11th. Yeah. And. I've not really done much. We've taken the tiny humans out today. I'll show you what I'm playing with in a minute. We've taken the tiny humans out today to a wildlife park. I'm going to try to put some footage of it at the end of the video. Hopefully I can work out how to do that. If not, then I don't know. Tough really. But they got to watch otters being fed and they fed a deer. Because there's some tame deers and they fed a wallaby. But apparently there's no the wallabies aren't tame and don't usually come up to people. But my oldest was like, I wanna feed the wallaby and the wallaby literally came straight up to his hand and took food straight out of his hand without even questioning it. So what I'm playing with is ribbon. I've been making hearts. So, for my mum's blanket, which and I've shown you bits of it before. So, this is how many I now have, plus the six that are already square. So, this is just the heart bits. There is 24. So, I've got another 12 to make. I've got hundreds of ends to sew in. Um, I'm going to sew in the ends, and then I'm going to make them all square. Well, I'm going to do the other 12, make sure all the ends are sewn in, then make them all square, and then start joining them all together. So, some of these you'd have already seen, some of them you wouldn't have. I've just got them attached to, I've got a little bit of dowel on ribbon, and it's just holding them all together, because otherwise I would, I would lose them. I'm terrible like that. So, some of these you would have seen already. There's this pet one and this is like my colours aren't coming up right at all on the camera they're coming up a bit brighter my hair is apparently more muted than what it actually is in real life I can't <laughs> there's no way of making it really visible so, for its colour so I've sewn in some of the ends these four have their ends sewn in. That'll be it. We've got this like stony grey colour. This is nowhere near that bright. So I know I've shown you, but this looks red. It's not red, it's a hot pink. I know I've shown you some of these, but I think I've made like four or five of these today. There's this one. That's my other half walking downstairs and quickly escaping into the kitchen. Got this one. I do really like these. I did. So I was going through. These were made of my scraps. So I was going through the scraps last night and I'm just grabbing them at random. Out of like. I have a more pastel y box and I have a brighter colour box. So I'm grabbing them out of the pastel -ies. And I pick one up, make the heart, look at it and go, this is cotton. It's not right. It's not going to work with the rest of it. So, I actually have the cotton scrubby now. I just need to sew the ends in. I might show you that tomorrow, if I remember. It is a really big if. There we go, another one. Random, my hair is on everything. Like, even though my hair is tied up 90% of the time, it still ends up everywhere. And I have a lot of hair. There he goes. That one. That one. We are getting towards the end now, I promise. That one. 
this one that one which is a hot pink not red this is that like gender neutral baby baby green color but isn't showing that at all on camera Is this one Oh, the whole pile just fell over. <laughs> oh, this one's got its own sewn in as well. Right. That is all of them. So I've just got 12 more to make. Sew in a bunch of ends and then make them square. And then join them together. The joining them together part I actually dread more than anything else. Because I'm I'm sure they just all gonna fall it's just all gonna fall to pieces. But it's my mum's. My mum's gonna be a bit more gentle than what like the kids would be with it. So hopefully it doesn't. I mean, my blankets don't have a tendency to fall to pieces. These live in my Hufflepuff bag. So the Harry Potter obsession lives on. We went, so we went to Wildlife Park. They had so many cute owls. Apparently I like owls now a lot more than what I realised. Because I just kind of wanted to steal them. They would have noticed. They'd have noticed the woman on crutches stealing the owls. But they did have some really cute owls. Let's see if I can post some pictures of those as well. I might be able to do it. I might not. But either way, that is it for me today. I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fish. So in here we have got 12 boxes. Now this is the typical family size. So in here we have got mum and dad, Leela and Pete, India and Chai, Cassia and Cameron, Daisy, Doggy, Harry and Hazel, Rani and Carl, and eggs. finally we actually have three little babies in the holes over there. So they are about four and a bit weeks, they will be uh, five weeks on Wednesday I believe. Uh, they are still very very small, they are about this big. Uh, still got silvery fur. Uh, they will actually grow um, the kind of brown fur later on in their life. Uh, but when they're actually born, they will weigh about 50 grams. So about the weight of a his leg. So very, very small. Now these guys are actually quite clever and what they will do is when their bedding is dirty they will take it out and leave it for us to collect. Um, we'll collect it, we'll give them new bedding and oh, who's this? Who's this? Hello you! Oh I know! So that's Leah down there, she's the bouncy otter and uh, she has actually taught